Dear students, in this topic we shall discuss the hormones produced by placenta. During pregnancy, placenta produces large quantities of hormones, which are essential for the maintenance of pregnancy. These hormones include four types of hormones, uh, the human chorionic gonadotropin, estrogens, progesterone and human chorionic somatomamotropin. We shall discuss the, all these in detail. The human chorionic gonadotropin hormone is secreted shortly after the embryo implants with the uterus. Its secretion then rises rapidly and reaches a maximum till 10 to 12 weeks of pregnancy. After this, its secretion decreases during the 16th to 20th week and then remains constant at a steady level during the remainder period of pregnancy. This hormone causes the persistence and growth of corpus luteum. It causes corpus luteum to secrete its hormones, estrogens and progesterone until the placenta fully takes over the production of these hormones. This hormone also prevents the uh, process of menstruation. It also causes the endometrium of uterus to grow and store large amounts of nutrients. Dear students, this hormone, human chorionic gonadotropin, also affects the testes of male developing fetus. It exerts a stimulatory effect on the interstitial cells of the developing testes and causes the production of testosterone by them. This testosterone which is produced during the gestation period causes the fetus to grow into a male producing primary male sexual characters. अगर इस स्टेज के ऊपर टेस्टोस्टेरोन प्रोड्यूस ना हो तो फीमेल प्राइमरी सेक्सुअल कैरेक्टर्स प्रोड्यूस हो जाते हैं दिस हार्मोन आल्सो कॉजेस द टेस्टिस टू डिसेंड इनटू द स्क्रोटम बिफोर बर्थ डियर स्टूडेंट्स नाउ वी शैल डिस्कस द रोल ऑफ एस्ट्रोजन secreted by placenta during pregnancy. During pregnancy, placenta produces enormous amount of estrogens. Agar hum dekhe ke jo normal production hoti hai estrogen ki ek female mein pregnancy ke end period mein us normal level se 30 times zyada estrogens produce ho rahe hote hai by this placenta. During pregnancy, placenta produces estrogens. These estrogens exert mainly proliferative functions on the reproductive and associated organs of the female. These effects include enlargement of the uterus, enlargement of breasts and growth of breast ductal structure. These also include enlargement of external genitalia. Estrogens also play a role in the relaxation of pelvic ligaments so that to make the pubic symphysis elastic for the passage of the fetus through birth canal during parturition or childbirth. 
Dear students, the progesterone is also secreted in tremendous amounts by placenta. Progesterone ki secretion pregnancy ke dauran mein normal level se takriban 10 guna zyada hoti hai. This hormone decreases the contractility of uterus to prevent any chance of spontaneous abortion. It also causes the development of decidual cells in the endometrium. Ye cells jo hain embryo ki early development ke dauran use nutrition provide karne mein important role play karte hain. जब अभी प्लेसेंटा डेवलप नहीं हुआ होता उस वक्त एम्ब्रियो को फूड प्रोवाइड करने के लिए डिसीडुअल सेल्स रोल प्ले करते हैं और ये सेल्स जो हैं वो ग्रो करते हैं बिकॉज ऑफ प्रोजेस्ट्रॉन डियर स्टूडेंट्स नाउ वी शैल डिस्कस द फोर्थ प्लेसेंटल हार्मोन दैट इज ह्यूमन कोरियोनिक सोमैटोमेमोट्रोपिन दिस हार्मोन स्टार्ट्स टू बी सिक्रिटेड during the fifth week of pregnancy aur iske baad se baaki ka jitna bhi hissa pregnancy ka hai us dauran mein iski amount progressively increase karti chali jati hai this hormone is primarily involved in the uh, metabolic processes and development of breasts and lactation this hormone also promotes uh, protein tissues just like the functions of growth hormone it also causes decreased sensitivity of tissues to insulin and also decreases the utilization of glucose by the tissues of mother इस तरह से ग्लूकोज की कम कंजम्पशन करने का मकसद यह है कि फीटस के लिए अवेलेबल ग्लूकोज ज्यादा हो जाए इट आल्सो प्रोमोट्स फ्री फैटी एसिड्स फ्रॉम द फैट स्टोर्स प्रोवाइडिंग अल्टरनेटिव सोर्सेज ऑफ एनर्जी इस तरह से ये हार्मोन जो है एक जनरल मेटाबॉलिक हार्मोन के तौर पर ज्यादा एक्ट करता है विच हैज specific nutritional nutritional implications for both mother and the fetus